basically going to show you how to program this box. This one is called the Axa Mili. This is the Axa Maiko. I'm going to show you how to program the Mili. In this case, the Maiko is already programmed. Four assists, no one seven. So you can make a new profile for it. This one is already programmed, but I will make a new profile. Call profile 3. So, what I do, I go to all. I can type in, for example, master. And I see master battery off. Master battery off. I scan, it will turn gray up here. It has to be black, so I switch it back and it will turn black. Then I can validate, otherwise, it will not assign the button. Master battery on, and I have to switch it back to off. It will turn black. Validate. Uh, I want this one also to be assigned to alternator off. So I want to switch both the alternator and the master switch off. You can assign multiple functions to one button. So in this case, I will also, you see, it will say, this is already used somewhere else. Do you want to bind it anyway? Yeah, I want to. Uh, so, and alternator on. This will be alternator on. So when I apply save, go back and resume my flight, you can see alternator will be switched off in, and also the master switch will be switched off. Both of them. See the functions. Oops. Going back into control again. And we can choose the profile here. I was working on profile number three. So for example, I want to bind this rotary switch to one of the functions, uh, for example, COM1. COM1, and I want to increase uh, the frequency by all. I also want to do 25 kilohertz, decrease COM1 by 25 kilohertz. I just press this button and I turn. It is assigned to pressing it and turning it. Increase COM1 fractal, pressing, turning it to the right, validate. Apply safe, go back and uh, resume flight. in to come one and you can see here my hole and by 25 kilohertz. I want to swap standby frequency to active as well so I can assign that one to another button if I want to. What I do profile 3 and I type in swap come one swap Assign it to this button up here, start scanning and it will be assigned. So apply, set it, go back, press it. When I press this one now, you can see it switches to active and standby. This way I can program the whole box basically. And I use this one for views, for example, my brakes, uh, avionics, whatever I want. I have it already assigned in profile number two, so I will use profile number two. I assigned this one to view actually, inside outside views.
middle button I programmed to have several views instantly. So that's very handy. I add the brakes, the parking brake. Parking brake, which doesn't make sense in the air, but you see it works, right? There's the parking brake, parking brake release. And these are the brakes when I press it. And I have my lights connect to it in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Beacon lights just don't work somehow. Taxi lights also don't work, but landing lights, they work. Strobe lights, they work. It's Flight Simulator 2020 thing. Uh, they will change it soon. Uh, flaps by one, by one, or flaps completely up, down. I can change it to whatever I want. I can assign the buttons differently. Ident button I programmed here and laugh one. This is the ident button. You see it here. Laugh one. So this one is programmed to NAV1. See NAV1 by all NAV1 by 25 kilohertz. And this one is assigned to swap standby and active frequencies. You can program the box any way you like. And once you're flying, you can connect it to the XM Micro, which has the basic flight controls in there. So here's the yoke. And one thing very important, of course, is trim. This is pitch trim. This is a rudder trim. So you can combine both boxes if you like, but you can also uh, use only, for example, the micro if you like, because it also has flat gears, uh, parking brake, or brake button, which you can assign to any function you like. And there's an additional button here, which is actually uh, assigned as thrust reverser, but you can see even in the Cessna 172 it works. When I press it, you'll see it tries to reverse the thrust. With not really possible in this aircraft. Yeah, that's basically it.